Brian Alvarez here, Wrestling Observer Live. Uh, Mike Sempervivi, also WrestlingObserver.com. With the departure of Adnan Verk announced Tuesday, the new Raw announcing team will consist of former UFC and Bellator commentator Jimmy Smith, working with Corey Graves and Byron Saxton. First show together will be this coming Monday, May 31. Smith, 43, best known for his 2010 to 2017 run with Bellator, has been working with Michael Cole and WWE staff of late to train for a possible announcing role. According to sources within the company, Cole has praised him heavily, found him to be very versatile. Smith will be slated to be lead play-by-play announcer. While in those aforementioned MMA roles with Bellator and UFC, he was in the analyst role. He has been on WWE broadcasts of late, debuting as part of the pre-show panel. NXT TakeOver Stand and Deliver. Last week he was a talking head analyst in the Karrion Cross Finn Balor segment. Host of Sirius XM's Unlocking the Cage. In addition to ESPN's International's UFC Fight Camp show. Well regarded in the MMA world. He placed in the Observer Awards for Best Announcer 2010, 2011, 2013, and 2014. However, it says... His new role will be completely different from what he's done in the past. His background includes a run as a pro MMA fighter, training with Tito Ortiz's Team Punishment crew, also a Brazilian jiu-jitsu black belt. Jimmy Smith has not watched wrestling as a regular fan since he was a child. I'm sure he's been watching a little bit lately, but I cannot help but notice that we hired a guy, Adnan Verk. Adnan Verk was not a... He was not a WWE viewer. He had a resume. They brought him in. They thought, oh, this man can do the lead announcing role on Raw. And, of course, he didn't know any of the moves. He didn't know any of the wrestlers. He kept calling either Eric or Ivar, Eric Ivar, like it's one guy. He didn't know what was going on. And seven weeks later, he's fired. I go up to a person, my wife, for example. I say, hey, you know that WWE hired somebody to be the lead announcer of a wrestling show who didn't watch wrestling. She was like, what? Yes, I said. And then he only lasts seven weeks, and then he's not doing the job anymore. Well, imagine me having to now explain to her that, you know what they did next? They hired another guy to be lead announcer who doesn't watch wrestling. Imagine explaining this to a normal person. Okay, forget normal people. Yesterday, on Wrestling Observer Radio, I was discussing this with Dave, and uh, Dave's response was a classic Dave response. Well, who else do they got? Well, I don't know who else they got. They got like 100 wrestlers under contract. Somebody who is a wrestling fan or a former wrestler can't do wrestling. Well, who else do they got, he says. I don't know. I mean, there's got to be somebody that you can find on the planet Earth that has watched wrestling that might be able to be a lead announcer of a wrestling show and not have to go to somebody who isn't even a wrestling fan. Well, who do they got, he says. Well, you know who they had until this morning? Tom Phillips is no longer with WWE as he has been released. Of course he has. News was first reported by Fightful, confirmed by John Alba. Tom Phillips here. It's funny, whenever you argue about who should be the next announcer, well, who do they have? Well, who can they use? Well, the argument always goes, well, you know, they want a certain type of guy to be the announcer. He's got to be young. Hmm, Tom Phillips, 32 years old. Well, I mean, compared to me, that's pretty young. 32? I think that's young to most people in entertainment. Well, they got they like a certain look. Well, boy, it sure seemed like they had it with Tom Phillips, handsome young man, 32 years old. Well, he's got to be able to do this. Well, he did the job. He did this job for a long time. Only in WWE would you hire a guy who doesn't watch wrestling to be your lead announcer of a wrestling show, and the next day you fire a lead announcer who knows wrestling, who did the job for 10 years, who's a handsome guy and 32 years old. I don't know. I don't even care at this point, but my God. Anyway, that's my speech. I hope the guy does a great job. I really do.
I would love, I would love for Jimmy Smith to walk in and be a great announcer. But he never even did this job when he was announced for MMA. He was an analyst. Now he's got to be the lead announcer. Whatever, not my company. Any comments, Mike? Why do I care? I don't know. Didn't they have Vic Joseph? Don't they have Vic Joseph? Didn't they have Todd Grisham at one point? Didn't he fit the role? Didn't they have Tom Phillips? Didn't Tom Phillips fit the role? They have Scott Stanford. Doesn't he fit the role if you want to bring in? I, I, I don't understand why you would continue to do this. I mean, Pat McAfee, again, it was like apples and oranges to add on. And, and, and I'm sure Jimmy Smith is more suited to be, he's got to be more suited to be in the position than Adnan Verk is. But like you mentioned, if he's not a wrestling fan, if he's been doing NXT, but he's not exactly boned up on everything that's going on in WWE right now, I just don't understand the fascination with bringing in a name or a a 8x10 profile shot essentially a headshot that you like that is not going to help your product can't help push your product forward i mean you have a lot of people that can be representatives that don't have to be you know they can be associated with your company that you want to prop out there when you're doing media appearances and stuff that don't have to be the play-by-play guy for the three-hour show and carry that every monday night why, since they rely on Corey Graves, why not put him in that position, continue on with Byron, bring in somebody else to be at Corey's side, since Corey kind of does everything they want to do anyway, and is the only person that can functionally deliver, frankly, other than Pat McAfee, and Pat McAfee kind of doesn't count right now, you know, some enthusiasm in what they want to actually get across. I I just don't understand can it. Can I say one and more thing? I, well, I just, I'll just finish off by saying yesterday, again, I was under the impression that Jimmy Smith had a little bit more seasoning with wrestling than he has had in the past, but apparently that's wrong. And that, again, just boggles my mind because you continue on the same path. The other day, there's a point to this. My daughter, I, there was a little cup, kind of like the uh, cheer cup right here, okay? So it was a little cup, and she had a, a, a ball that was larger, and she's trying to put the large ball in the small cup. Doesn't work, right? No. But she's won, okay? So my point is this. Would it not be easier to take a wrestling fan or a wrestler and teach them how to be the lead announcer than take someone who has been an announcer and try to teach them everything about pro wrestling? Like, would it the problem, other pal. way be easier? Like, let's just, okay, listen. I've been doing this for a long time, okay? 1999, I've been doing radio shows, all right? If there was a new, like there was going to be an ESPN podcast, and it was going to be about football, and they needed a host for that football podcast, in what universe would I be the right choice? Like, oh, well, you know, he's done uh, podcasting for a long time. Well, yeah, I have. Well, you know, he's done a podcast about sports. Well, it's kind of a sport. I guess I've covered MMA. But, like, in what universe would I be the best choice? I've never watched a full football game in my life. Why would you choose me to do a football podcast? Would it not be easier to take someone who watched football and take a few days to teach them how to do a podcast? It seems like it'd be much easier to teach someone that knows football how to do a football podcast than it would to take someone who's done a podcast and teach them football. That's what we're talking about here. Twice okay. now. Yeah. Twice in a row they're doing this. And Brian, you would be a great host doing anything because you're a very good host. But it's there's a big but difference. But not a between, football podcast. But, but, but even, Brian, there's a difference between hosting a show on football where you can quickly throw it to other people and they're not relying on you to carry three hours worth of programming. Imagine being out there being the play-by-play -play guy. Forget about the host. They want the guy to be the play-by-play -play guy who's never seen football before. I mean, that's it's amazing. That's what your flagship is. That's what you're expecting out of it. It's crazy. All right, more news after the break, everybody. I'm coming down here. Wrestling Observer Live. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. 
join us today.